Hi everyone, this is Nikki of Nikki Hearts Cards, and today we're going to look at cutting an SVG file. We're going to transport it into Canvas Workspace, we're going to cut it, and then we're going to use shapes to create the lenses of this glass. So I wanted to cut this out and I couldn't find an SVG that was layered, so I want to show you how I did this manually. This is going to be a beginner tutorial, but I know we have lots of brother Scan and Cut beginners out there, and I just wanted to take you through the steps because I've had a couple questions about it. So, we start with our blank canvas workspace. I'm using the desktop application, and I'm going to go to this little thing that says SVG. I have this saved recently. I know you can't see all that, but I open it, and it pops into my screen. So, now you can adjust the size by grabbing the sides. So, I want this to fit on an a2 size card so I'm taking it down to about four four and a half that's about what's right for the card uh, maybe just a little bit smaller but each of these blocks represents an inch so if you're trying to size for a card you know how big you're cutting those glasses now I'm going to unclick my sizing once I fix what size this is going to be and then we are going to click over and send this to my brother scan and cut now I have an SDX 125 so I can send this wirelessly so what I'm going to do is go to the top of the screen under file it says export or transfer FCM file and this pops up I'm going to transfer via the internet because I have a wireless machine so I've turned the machine on and have it ready so I'm just going to hit OK and then I'm going to go to the machine and show you how this pops up after we finish this part we're going to create the lenses for the glasses now I'm at my machine and I'm going to click retrieve data. So it gives me my options of what we're retrieving. We're going to go to the one that says the internet, it went over Wi-Fi, and there are my glasses right there. So I'm going to take you through cutting these really quick and then let's go back and we'll make some lenses for the glasses. Once I'm ready to proceed, I hit OK, and then I've got to select what I'm doing. I'm going to cut these out. It's nice that you could do so many different options here, but I'm just going to cut, and it's the simple way to do it. I haven't loaded my mat yet, so I've got to load the mat before I can hit the Start button, but I'm going to load the mat and then start this. Here's what that cutout image looks like. Now we're going to go back to the computer and design the lenses for these glasses. Okay, I'm back at the computer and my design is still on my Canvas workspace. So what I'm going to do is look at shapes. There's, I'm sure, a million ways to do this, but to me this was the easiest. I was looking at a shape that to me most closely matched the lenses of this glass. And I thought an egg would work. I know I'm going to need to stretch and do some different things to the egg. But I went and changed, um, grabbed a color so that I'll be able to see the egg. And I'm going to fill this egg with green just so I can see this better on my screen and start to rotate it to see how it's going to fit and then we're going to pull on some different lines to create the lens shape. I wanted you to be able to see these lines better so I went to a blank screen and I'm going to try to zoom in on this screen. So I'm putting the egg here, I'm going to the fill color and changing it to green so that it's easier to see and then I actually changed the line color to green as well that just helps me see it better and then you've got your box that changes the size so you can pull on any of these squares and change the size so each of these squares change the size and they pull at that specific point to increase the size but it keeps the general shape the same so if you want to change the shape you click now you get a couple of different rotation arms so as you can see as I pull this down it's changing this top point shape. So you can pull them like a lever, like this. You can pull directly on the middle dot and stretch out that area, but you've got some flexibility. So you pull this middle dot and it stretches it. I can make it an oval. So you've got lots of play here that you can do to create this in the shape of your glasses. I didn't put this one on the glasses page because I wanted to show you those dots a little bit better. I'm going to go back to the glasses. Once I get my shape correct, then it's time to send it to the printer. And what I should have realized, I did start playing with doing a shape for the other side, but I wanted them to be as symmetrical as, pos as possible. So I decided that once I got this shape correct, what I was going to do is cut it out in this direction, and then I was going to flip my paper over backwards and cut it out in the other direction. So I'm going to show you how I did that. You can also just create two different um, of these images and keep it that way but I just thought that was easier. 
So now I've got one that fits and this other one, I'm just going to decide, I thought I could play with it and put it in here, but I decided I would just delete the second one and I'm going to delete my sunglasses because I've already cut those out. And then since these are facing the same direction, you could, there is a way to flip them around, but I just decided I would print one. It seemed easier to me and then just flip my paper over and cut the second one. So a quick recap, we're going to go to File, Export, and Transfer our FCM. I'm doing it by the internet and I'm going to click OK and go down to the Brother Scan and Cut and show you what it did. So now I'm back at the Brother Scan and Cut and I've got my fancy holographic paper in here. I'll link this holographic paper. It's amazing. All right, so I've got my image. I said OK and now we're going to select to cut that image. So once I get it cut, then I'm going to show you how that comes out of there. It looks so good. Check it out. There's that first one. Now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to flip my paper over backwards like this and cut that same image. So I'm going back to my screen. It still has it on there. Um, I haven't loaded my mat, so I'm going to load the mat. And then here we go. So it's cut out my image. Such a cute little image. Oh my goodness. I just, I love holographic paper. So there it is. Let me show you how it fits in these sunglasses. I feel like for just making my own shape, that turned out great. Now let me show you the final card and I'll recap on some of our info. Okay, so hopefully that helped you guys and that are new out there to get the SVG file to your machine and start cutting as well as playing around with designing your own shapes. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. I have a whole playlist of Brother Scan and Cut beginner videos. So make sure you check those out. Have a great day, guys. Bye!